Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have this Hyundai i30 2009 and we're gonna see how we can register a new transmitter for this car. On this car for registering a new transmitter, you have to use a scan tool. Many scan tools, they do this function, but today we're gonna use Mucar 892BT, which is a professional scan tool with lifetime free update. So we're gonna try to register the transmitter on this car right now with this scan tool. If you are interested to learn more about this scan tool, of course you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. I'm gonna turn the ignition switch on right now. On here, let's go for diagnose. It's Asian, it's Hyundai uh, right here. Let's go for manual select, general area. As I said, it's Hyundai i30, which is this one, 2009, diesel engine, system select. On the system selection, if you go all the way down, you have two options here. Immobilizer is for teaching a new key or for doing the diagnostic on the immobilizer system. But for registering or saving a new transmitter, you need to go for transmitter code saving. In the data stream, you can see the number of transmitters saved. And of course, you can check the operation of the transmitter as well. If I take the key out, so you see it's unlocked. If I click on the lock, it's already locked. And if I click on the unlock, so you can read the live data from here to see if the transmitter is working properly or not. Let's go back on special function. You have remote control matching. So if I click on that one, this is how I can register a new transmitter. Remove the key from the cylinder. I got the key right here. Press OK, wait for two seconds, then press the lock button on the transmitter for one second. So we're gonna press OK. We need to wait two seconds and then we need to press the lock button over here for more than one second. Then you hear a beeping sound and scan tool is gonna tell you if registration has been done properly. One, two. So the first transmitter code is saved. If we want to go for the second one, we need to press OK and then we can register the second one. Otherwise, you can just click on cancel. And that's it. So transmitter is working properly with no issues. So this was how to register the new transmitter on this car. The registration on many Hyundai and Kia with this kind of blade keys is very similar. So when you program a key, you need to program the remote separately, just like how I mentioned. On those cars with the smart key system, when you program a key, you are actually going to program the remote at the very same time as well. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the notification when we upload new videos.